here is the road leading to Yellow Breaches Park. No parking signs have been erected along the road, which is quite narrow. This is the parking area at the entrance to the park. A short distance from the parking area, there are garden plots, which residents can still access. There are a few picnic tables, which I'm told are for the convenience of those um, who might be fishing or boating, who want to stop and have lunch during their outing. The Sheepherd Road leads to a one-lane iron bridge, and off to the right, there's a path that leads toward the creek. Below the creek, there are a few um, sort of sandbars on which people can wade into the water. The creek's running rather high today after the rain we've had. Here's the trail that leads further into the park. Down the trail, there's a large clearing um, with further another sign that says the park is closed. There's some charcoal on the ground that appears to have been one of the outdoor cooking areas that township officials said picnic picnickers had been using. Here's another spot where there were apparently charcoal fires. Some trash laying about. There's a few beer cap, beer bottle caps and soda bottle caps. There's what could be a boat launch area or area for fishermen to wade into the creek. Down further, there's another clearing. the iron bridge over the yellow breaches. There's the view from the bridge itself. From the bridge, uh, the parking area is only about maybe two blocks away. Since up Sheepford Road from the park, there are homes 